and so on. So as uh, one of the most promising uh, approaches is uh, to use reinforcement learning methods to solve uh, the problem of uh, path planning and uh, following the leader. Uh, so the goal of this work was to create a simulation environment that uh, allow us to train reinforcement learning models uh, to solve the task of the following leader. And also as a uh, sub-goal was to evaluate performance of the different path planning algorithms to choose the fastest one to emulate uh, behavior of the leader. Uh, so, we formulate uh, the task of uh, the following uh, leader as follows. Uh, we have uh, 2D vault uh, in two-dimensional Euclidean space, where we have two main objects that moves. It's uh, the leader who moves uh, under the special rules and uh, build his route uh, according to some path planning algorithm. And the follower, whose goal is to follow the leader on the particular distance uh, and uh, not uh, to be very close to leader, not to be very far from leader. Also, this environment uh, includes obstacles, uh, static uh, obstacles of two types. One is uh, just objects uh, that uh, have uh, size uh, that uh, as big as uh, moving objects. The other one is a bridge that uh, simulates uh, some bottleneck uh, obstacle. So, uh, as, it as I already mentioned, the behavior of the follower is uh, uh, to follow the leader on the particular distance and not to intercourse with the, some obstacles. Uh, also, we formulate reward uh, in this environment to, to mirror some of the mentioned goals and uh, to train uh, our rail model efficiently. Uh, you can see that this is a complex reward with uh, many uh, parts of, uh, in it. But uh, the main point here is that uh, we're trying to uh, mirror every aspect of the, of the, of the task we solve. We want our agent not to be too close to the leader. We want our agent not to be too far from the leader. We want our agent not to be too far from the road leader already leader or, or, or already already uh, uh, run and uh, so on. So uh, this is. Uh, uh, the reward that we empirically uh, developed uh, and it uh, allows us to train the agent efficiently. Uh, as uh, if we talk about time simulation, we can say that uh, our time is a discrete value. We emulate our task uh, uh, through the steps, time steps, and uh, but. Uh, our agent can uh, take some actions only in frames that uh, is a set of steps. So it can't uh, react for, for <clears throat> it can't react with, to each uh, step and uh, to instant uh, <clears throat> difference in the, in the leader behavior. Uh, as the sensors, we use the set of uh, different uh, values uh, that mentioned on the slide. In particular, we can use uh, leader coordinates and also leader velocity in different angles. We can use uh, uh, coordinates of the follower and uh, also some data from the leader point cloud uh, that allows us to percept uh, obstacles and uh, leader too. Uh, we stop our emulation with, uh, when one of criteria is met. Uh, if uh, the leader has completed the route successfully, if the leader has an accident, uh, so if it uh, meets some obstacles or the follower met some obstacles, uh, or if uh, the number of simulation steps is too big. 
so it's the simulation is too long. Uh, also, if uh, the, fo the follower is uh, too far from the leader, so it's uh, hard for it to return to the leader's route. And also, if the total reward for the simulation is uh, too low, so we can see that our follower hasn't a uh, particular uh, behavior that uh, mirror our task. A default hyperparameters of the implemented environment is on the slide. Well, as uh, I said before, one of our sub goals was to choose one of the path planning algorithms. We consider four algorithms that uh, we could uh, separate to in two. Uh, groups. One is uh, rapidly exploring random tree and its modification. The other one is uh, classical algorithm A star and its modification dynamic A star, D star. Uh, well, we uh, we researched these algorithms in uh, terms of uh, path planning time in the implemented environment and also in terms of uh, length of uh, path in average uh, during the 100 emulations. Uh, and as you can see from this table, the most uh, efficient algorithm in terms of uh, these two criteria is uh, D-star. As you can see on this image, uh, the D-star path planning algorithm allow us to build a more straightforward path uh, with uh, less um, deviations uh, and uh, as uh, you could see in our previous table, it uh, builds uh, this path faster. Uh, on the next slide, uh, we can see dependency from the dependency of the uh, path search searching time and path length uh, of uh, number of obstacles in the environment because it's. Uh, uh, also, it is also a setting that we can variate. So, as uh, you can see, a DISTA can work efficiently even with a higher number of obstacles. And uh, RT didn't allow us to get such good results. So, in conclusion, we present the environment uh, that emulates uh, the task of the following the leader and allows us to train uh, reinforcement learning models. Uh, developed emulator has uh, some configurations to vary, so we can it can allow us uh, to uh, change reward function with uh, different coefficients. Uh, we can. Uh, uh, change uh, number of uh, obstacles, so we can change uh, number of points in the route, and so on. And uh, the implement emulator expands opportunities of investigating uh, reinforcement learning methods in the following the leader task. Uh, further research uh, includes uh, studying the possibility of transferring a reinforcement learning model that trained on this simple environment to the uh, more complex environments like uh, the ones that models in Gazebo Simulator. And uh, spoiler, we work it in this uh, way and uh, we see that uh, it's really possible to transfer the model trained on this simple 2D model uh, into the 3D one with the physics simulation. And a successful transfer can save computational time during the training the model because uh, the modeling of the simple environment, well, it's uh, very more efficient in terms of time than uh, modeling in Gazebo. So thank you for the attention and I'm ready to answer your questions. Thank you. Uh, there is any question? Okay, uh, thank you, Anton Silvino, for your talk. Thank you. Uh, thank you.